Hi, welcome to another quick tutorial. Today I will show you how to add CMYK color profiles to GIMP. CMYK stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and K for key or, or black. These colors are what's referred to as four color printing. All right, now we're done with all the technicalities. Let me show you how and why. So first, let's start with the why. I, I recently did a color flats for a kid's book and um, I was also given reference plates for all the different characters like so. So I had different colors I was given and then I just did the, the flats um, so I could match them right away and save some time. But after I was about like halfway through uh, my first page I showed my friend what I had done and she told me uh, your colors are wrong. So I asked well are you using like color profiles? He said well yeah but your Photoshop supposed to have supposed to already have those color profiles then I quickly realized my mistake and I fixed everything and uh, was up and running again. This was the color reference that was sent and this is what it looks like when I opened it in GIMP without CMYK color profiles and this is what it looks like with CMYK color profiles. I can see the difference is huge. You can see it whether your monitor is good or not. You will see a difference. So this is without this is with and that brings me to the how so let me show you how it's done first if you don't have Photoshop you'll simply need to download the uh, Adobe color profiles which are free if you do have either Photoshop InDesign or Illustrator well good news you already have those color profiles and you just need to tell GIMP where to to find these so let me just show you quickly something okay if you have Photoshop or any Adobe program installed these are is where you're gonna find uh, all the color profiles, and don't bother pausing this video. All these the the path I've put it in the description. Okay, perfect. So all you gotta do is once you've downloaded the uh, color profile, again link is in the description. You see CMYK profiles, and then just choose the one you need. I use uh, US Sheet Coded, does uh, the work, and that's what I used. So this is the file you're gonna go for. So go back again. So you all got to do is open your preferences. So edit preferences. Blah 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 blah. Color management. And here you have RGB profiles. Usually it's gonna be none. You can say this way. And then you have CMYK profiles. So all you gotta do is, is click here, select color profile from disk, and you're gonna put um, if you have Photoshop, put the path I've put in the description. You're gonna find a profile. Or if you don't, just select the location. Of the color profiles, and once you do that, GIMP will have the um, will add it in the in the drop down options. So you just select it, press OK, and you're good to go. Now everything you import that has the CMYK color profile will be recognized, and you will be shown the correct colors. And that's it. That's how you do it. And just a quick hint of my next upcoming tutorial: my first roadblock using GIMP instead of Photoshop doing flats. Whereas Photoshop uses a, um, a layer mode called Linear Burn, which this is the pencils, but it's wide background. There's no alpha channel, there's no transparency, and you just click Linear Burn and then you can put your color underneath, so to speak. But you, there's no Linear Burn mode uh, in GIMP, but I figured a way how to do that, and that's going to be my next tutorial. So if you have any questions, um, drop a comment, I will reply, or if you prefer a more personal conversation, send me an email, feel free. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. More subscribers mean more questions, more questions, more tutorials, and thus more content. Thanks for watching, take care, and see you soon.